Hello, welcome back to Jeff Greenaway Outdoors. As you can see, unfortunately we're indoors. Uh, Storm Kathleen is uh, ripping through the country at the moment. 80 mile an hour winds out and about. Uh, a lot of the country forest parks are closed and uh, I don't fancy going to the mountains today. <laughs> I'm not willing to know a laugh and joke about the clag and the storm or all the high winds and rains that we go out on, but we're not stupid. We're playing safe, so there. It's not a video I want to be doing in April. I sort of had planned on taking this bag out on a few trips first <clears throat> to get the feel of it and get used to it, but we'll do it there. I'll just walk us through it, what it is and all, and uh, how I'll pack it. Now, I might pack it wrong. If I do, leave a comment on how you usually pack your rucksacks for camping or anything. Uh, like I say, we're just sort of beginners at the moment as well. Well, uh, without further ado, it is uh, the Highlander. It's the Ben Nevis 85. Uh, at the moment, the price is $129.99 on the website. But I got this for $94.99 just after Christmas. I would say in around Easter and Bank Holidays, it will come down to them prices <coughs> uh, comes in two colors i've got the blue uh, there's a black as well but it's at the moment it's sold out the volume is it's 82 centimeters high going by the width is 46 and then 43 centimeters in depth and uh, the material itself is 450d honeycomb ripstop with side pockets is a XTP side panels as well so that's just basically the outside of the bag I'll go through pockets and stuff now so we'll just start from the back there we are obviously the two padded shoulder straps and then we have the T3 active adjustive back system Can Go up and down, depending, not too sure I've seen that there, up and down, depending how high you want it up on your back or low. That's one of the main things that drew me to this bag, I know a lot of them have it, is the floating head system. It's got a load stabilising straps, so it does, so click on there. There. Again, it can be loosened and tightened. I've seen a lot of people use it where they would put their tent in across it. I'm in two mains at the moment still, but I might do it still down at the bottom, keep the tent firmly there. The bottom of the bag. But again, put in the comments if you think it's stabler up here. Next up is the rain shield. It's built in. It's obviously attached on. It'll go around the sorry, it'll go around the front of the bag to protect it from any rain obviously to keep everything nice and dry inside the bag as is a nearly five litre bag comes with a, a twin compartment I'm not too sure if you can see that so there's a drawstring splitting the main compartment or what I like to call the clothes compartment where I keep mainly all my clothes maybe we'll see if that is here so, There's your drawstring, opens up, and then you'll get your full 85 litres probably. That might cut off a couple of litres, not much, but you open it up, and you can see it just comes with one compartment then, just zip that up. Again, 
and I just keep the clothes separate. I like to keep my clothes separate from anything that might potentially get wet. You don't want wet clothes when you're out camping. Moving swiftly back to the top of the bag. There's the outer zip compartment. And then when we open that up. There's the, the inner zip compartment as well. And then obviously, which is a nice feature I think. You can put your emergency telephone numbers on it, emergency contact, and then basically it gives you a list of survival accessories. Have you packed, whistle, torch, map, phone, GPS, compass, emergency shelter and stuff. Uh, and then a general guide to packing your rucksack, which is handy enough. Very nice feature, I like that one, so I do. And then emergency telephone numbers as well. So on the front of the bag, not too sure how good we can see it here at the moment, is this it's a pretty large elasticated pouch, which if you need anything quick to hand, raincoat, waterproof trousers, you can just stuff that in there and then it can nicely click up again. Everything can be tightened, fastened in. Again, great feature, something always handy to have. Moving on to the side, I'll just show you one side here because the other side is symmetrical. It's pretty large. Again, elasticated pouch side pocket, which has compression straps. So you could get your, like an axe pad sleeping pad in there, just down the side, strap it on. It'll not move, or else a couple of bottles of water even. Then behind the, the elasticated front pouch, it has these zips, which if you look at anything quick from inside the bag, has this L shape zip. Maybe should unbuckle that. So it allows you straight into the main compartment of the bag. I've actually just found that one out. <laughs> My plan about with there. Okay on the outside we have this feature. Okay, it's the same over here on this side. It's a stowaway for your tracking poles. Go through there, through there, and then to the loops. Again, all can be tightened up. Keep everything nice and secure to the bag. The last feature on the outside of the bag is the zips. All high grade, number 10, nylon zips. All pretty much free moving and stuff, I got there. Uh, I'm not too sure if I've seen that there, Ben Nevis, 85 litres. Next up will be, it's just going to be a quick pack to show you what I'm going to bring on my camping trips and how I'll pack it in. Like I said, to start, if you pack different, please feel free to leave a comment. I like to learn stuff from other people as well. I do watch a lot of stuff on YouTube, so let me know if I'm doing it wrong. So, nice quick run through. Fleece liner inside the bag, sleeping bag, inside the rucksack, cook system, inside with the gas stove, pillow, in it goes, foil mat, just a wee bit of extra protection, Sleeping pad inside the rucksack. Water filter, just in case. Seat pad. Cap and lantern. So that'll all just go 
into the main compartment. Which will buckle up. <coughs> Said a few minutes ago about the sleeping pad. It can go in here, the side pockets. Just nicely strapped around. Again, just keeping everything nice and secure. So I'm not really going to bore you with the clothes or anything, but that's leaves you pretty much. If you're on a one nighter, ample room to store your pajamas or whatever you're wearing, warm clothes, down jacket in there. And then the brain all the bag. Let's see if we can get a good view of it. Plenty of room for food, cooking utensils or anything you got there. Yeah. Leaving this side pocket free for two or three litres of water if needed. Thanks very much for coming along, watching this one. I know it's indoors and the channel name is outdoors, but unfortunately the weather has won this week. Uh, if you've any other ways of packing the bag, rucksack, do please let me know. Like I say, we're only beginners and uh, we do like to pick up a few tips. On the bag itself, there is some quality wee things about it. Obviously the, the one compartment can be changed to two compartments. The elasticated front for your wet clothes or with your waterproof trousers, raincoat, and then obviously that L-shaped zip. If you're looking at anything quick from the inside of the bag, maybe you're looking the cook system out for a nice cup of tea or something, you're only halfway up the mountain, instead of pulling everything out, just open that up, right? So, well worth the 95 pound that I paid for. I know it did say it's 130 at the moment. I'll leave all the links in the descriptions in the description box below which I've started to do so anything I'm using camera wise drone wise anything's in the bag I do put the links in the description so it's maybe well worth clicking into a few of them and seeing what you like so hopefully all very well we'll be about with this on my back next week I'll see you then